Well, it might seem rather abrupt, but it does, first of all, come after a lot of criticism in the first place about the nomination of Norton and her suitability for this post, uh, and after questions as to well, why her nomination had still not been formally submitted to the Senate uh, after over two months after Trump's announcement that she was going to be the next ambassador. Um, so she has said in an official statement that she's withdrawing her name from consideration because, quote, for the past two months, the past two months have been grueling for my family. And therefore, it's in the best interest of my family that I withdraw my name from consideration. But what is not in her statement is anything at all about the background checks on her, that, that it seems revealed that she had in the past employed an immigrant nanny who was in the US legally, but wasn't actually authorised to work. So that's according to two people familiar with the matter. Now, uh, now it's nanny issue, you might call it, would almost certainly have come out in her confirmation hearing. And that would have been pretty awkward, considering that stopping illegal, immigra- illegal migration is like has been at the very centre of Trump's electoral campaign. And right now, he's fighting with the Democrats to try to build a wall uh, on the border with Mexico. Trump has, of course, just declared a national emergency to, to, to secure more money for that proposed wall. So all of this would have ended up being, you might say, rather embarrassing.